Hello. Hi. Hi. And can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Can you see me? Yes. yes. Are you using a, a computer or a tablet or a a phone? Computer. Computer. I like your camera. What camera are you using? Are you using your laptop's camera? Oh, wow, it looks nice and clear. <laughs> As for me, I bought another camera, so my face will be better <laughs> in the camera. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, I think your laptop is expensive. It must be very expensive. <laughs> okay. And by the way, I've got some suggestions for your homework. But I think it's better if I'll write them, them down later so you can read them and see the difference between the one you made and the suggestions, okay? Okay, so let's begin. We're not done yet with speaking, and so let's go back there and finish the lesson. Finish the lesson. We are already in the part where you will prepare your talk. Do you have a paper with you and a pen? Yes, okay. Talk about an expensive thing you bought recently. Maybe oh, it didn't show. Let's do it again. Here. Oh, it's too small. Can you see it? Okay. Let me try this one. Okay. So you will talk about an expensive thing you bought recently. Could be last week, last month, or the last time you bought something expensive. Okay. Anything or any kind. It could be a type of clothes, gadgets, anything that you shopped recently. And tell me what it was. You see, it's talking about something in the past. So be careful. Be mindful of your tense, past tenses. Okay, next. Why you bought, why did you buy it? How do you use it? And how you feel after you bought it? or after the purchase. Okay, any questions? No, okay, I'll give you two to three minutes. That will do. Okay, prepare your talk, dear. What, why, how, and what do you feel? After this lesson, we will have a review lesson and then test four. We will have our test, fourth test. <laughs> Yeah. 
Stop writing. Is your pen broken? Oh no, I'm sorry. Oh, what happened? It's gone. Oh no. <laughs> okay, let me close it. I erased the part on the part that we're doing. Let me open it again. Uh, you will talk. You will talk about what you bought, why you bought it, and then. What was that? Here, I found it. I'm so sorry. Here you go. Okay, now talk about an expensive thing you bought recently. Go. Last month, my dad bought a computer to me. My dad wanted to bought it because my dad used it to work and I use it to learn English. And I can use it to watch a film too. I so happy when I had a new computer. Okay. Okay. There you go. So you mentioned your dad bought it to me. So I think it's better to say for me because he bought it for you. Okay. For me. <laughs> Next is great. You you told me why your father bought it. He needs it in his job, and you need it for your online classes and to watch some films. How you use it, mm -hmm. and you were happy. Did you say you were happy? Were you? 
Yes, okay. That's all. Okay. This is the only error that I that I noticed. You used past tense, bought, that's correct. And then uh, when you bought it, that's last month. That's another checked. Okay. So I think all the needed informations were there. So good job. <laughs> okay. Now let's go to speaking part, prompt cards. Okay. And it's something new. This time, it's not about a school. It's not about a library or a club. It's about a person. Uh -huh. It's about a new teacher in ICC College. Let me introduce him to you. So ICC College. So this is Mr. Tom Cooper, Mr. Tom Cooper. And from next Monday, he will be the new English and French teacher. And he is from Canada. And aside from teaching, he wants to have a football club after school. Okay, so he is into extracurricular activities. Uh -huh. So look at the clues on your right and I will give you some time to prepare your questions, okay? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, go. Sorry. Okay, me too. Okay, first one. What is the name of the new teacher? Okay, we're the same. Look, so remember, there are different ways to ask a question. So it's up to you how you do it. Okay, next. What does he teach? Yes, so remember, as I have said, there are different ways to ask. It's just that it's up to you which word to use. And uh, even if we're not the same, 
it doesn't mean mine or yours are incorrect. We have different ways to ask questions. Okay, next. And you said, what does he teach? How about you want to use the word subject? How are you going to ask about it? Which subject? Which subject does she teach? Yes, great. Next. Where is he come from? Yes, or where does he come from? Where does he come from? Where is he from? Where does he come from? Okay, next. When he will start his class? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, he... When he will? Okay. So you put will before he. Mm -hmm. When will he? When will he? When will he start his class? Uh huh. Because the answer is he will. So you see, that's a positive answer. He will start the class next Monday. The question is when will he? When you answer he will, will he? He will, from positive to interrogative. Okay, interrogative means making questions with a question mark, okay? Okay, can you see my suggested answer? When will his class start? When will he start teaching? So any of those three, because we have three answers, all in all, they are all correct. Okay, next. Does he play any kind of sport? Yes, or maybe is he into sports? Okay, any of them have the idea asking about his sport? Okay, do you have any questions, Lynn? No, I don't. No, you don't. Okay, next. Another prompt card. Here you go. It's about a library. We're not going to introduce it because you will after these questions. Okay. So you can make a quick look on the prompt card and you can start making your questions. Go. Oh dear, this time make two questions each. Okay? Two questions. Each, like for, about where? Uh, make a question asking about the address of the library in two ways. Make two questions, please. So you can learn how to make questions in different ways.
I don't really understand what free is about, but maybe it's about something that is not about books, videos, or music CDs. So maybe think about something that they can offer for free. You can use it for free too. So maybe that it's, that's it. Teacher, I don't know how to ask about CDs. CDs. Hmm. Maybe you can ask if they are available in the library. Or maybe if they have CDs in the library. Now turn that one into a question. So I think the videos are not for free. Can you see the, the middle part? Videos, one pound per week. So it's not free. Remember, you can use other words aside from those written on the suggested questions, okay? So you can make two questions on each one of them. Ooh, this is exciting. Two questions each. <laughs> I 
I made my own too, so it won't be unfair. We're just waiting for you. <laughs> yeah, do you have any questions? I had to ask about the computer. Which one? Computer. Which one? Computer. Oh, look where the computers were men was mentioned were mentioned. Twelve computers. Where? On the fourth floor. So make a question about 12 computers and then they are on fourth floor. Another question. You can cut it. 12, 12 computers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Same goes with Monday to Saturday. That's one question. 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Another question. There are 12 computers. That's the answer. Another. The computers are on the fourth floor. Now make a question. Make questions, and the answers are those. There are 12 computers. The computers are on the fourth floor. Okay, first is about where. Please read your answer. Where is the computer? What, what is the address of the building? Okay, mm -hmm. that will do. <laughs> Next. Does the library open? Opening four times? Is open. the library open every day? Okay, is the library open every day? And the other one there, please repeat. Does the library open four times? Opening four times. Open. Oh, the first one is uh, the correct term, open. Remember when we use does, open. We can't say does opening. Okay, it should be in base form. So, can you tell me again? Does the library, Does the library open, open four, times? four times a week? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it means it doesn't. It's open six times a week. Okay, next. Does the library have CD? Yes, CDs. Don't forget the S because there are many. Uh -huh. Next. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. Can you think of another word that means they have it? You said, does the library have CDs? Mm -hmm. How about the answer is the CDs are available in the library. Available means they have it. Can you make it into a question? Again, CDs are available in the library. Make it into a question. Uh 
Uh huh. Are. Guess mm -hmm. how we are. Are they mm -hmm. CDs in the library? Yes. Or are CDs available in the library? Okay. Anyway, we'll do. Okay. Next. Free. Are the books free? Can we use our music CDs free? For free. Okay, add four. For free. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh no, it doesn't look good. Look at that. Can I move this one? Yes, but it's still not readable. Okay. <laughs> so you said, okay, for free. Can I watch? What, what was your second question? Please repeat. Can we listen? Use a music CDs for free. For free, okay. For free, okay. Next, computers. Are there any computers in the library? How many computers? How many computers? Does the library have? Yay! We're not the same there. It means we can make more questions, more and more. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> okay, now let's move forward. So you see, remember, dear, uh, when, you when you see the clues, like for free, it's not here. The word free is not here, right? So look at maybe the opposite. The opposite of free is paid. It means you have to pay. So the videos are not for free. And then so you can connect this too. Okay. And you can use different words. That means one or synonyms. Okay. Like where is the library? What's the address? That means about the location. Okay, location, address, the same. Okay, any questions? No, it's time for you to introduce the central library. Okay, do you need time to prepare for this? Okay, so you will introduce it, okay? Maybe you are a librarian, could be, or maybe you're a tour guide while you talk, okay? It's up to you on how you want to introduce it. Okay, useful whole thought sentences, okay? I just want to say I'm happy because you know how to use 
does are there any on how to make questions it means you improved a lot here i'm so proud of you <laughs> okay continue <laughs> What is it? Um, one pass per week. It means you have to pay one pound per week so you can watch the videos. So it means you pay once a week. One pound per week or once a week. You pay once, you can use it the whole week. Your baby sister is shouting. <laughs> Go on, it's okay. <laughs> She wants to cut in me. Oh, is she knocking? Oh, no. Poor baby. <laughs> she wants to be with you. Is she calling you? Yes. Uh huh. Do you have something like a big sister? Something to call to you as a big sister in Vietnamese? Do you have such terms? Such terms. Like for us in Philippines, we don't call each other by names. If someone's older than me and she's a girl, I'll say ate. It means I respect her and I won't call her by name. <laughs> this, the, what does she call you? How does she call you? She was, she's little and she can call me, her name can, she can't call sister. Oh, okay. She still can't say sister. Okay. So she says Lynn. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Are you done? Yes. Yes, okay. Now, based on the given information, talk about the Central Library. Go! Welcome to Central Library. There are books, videos, music CDs. Books and music CDs are free. We have one pound per quick. Oh, oh sorry, oh. sorry, sorry. Would you please repeat that part? The last part. I'm sorry, I didn't hear it. My brother and my sister. Uh -huh. You can let them in. We're yeah. almost done. Go on. Uh -huh. There are books, videos, music CDs. Books and music CDs are free. Videos one pack per quick. We open Monday to Friday, half past nine to five o'clock. We have 12 computers on fourth floor. 
and our library next to the museum. It's Come next see. to. It's next to. Uh huh. The museum. Come okay. and see. Okay, come and see the central library. Yay! Okay, let's have some suggestions. Okay, so I have as I have said, let's use full sentence answers or introductions. So you said there are books, videos, and music CDs, right? So maybe you can add available in the library. There are books, videos, music, CDs available in the library, or you can use in the library. So make them uh, feel excited going to the library, okay? And then maybe we can add more details here. This part, dear, here. Can you do it again? Make it into a complete sentence talking about how much you have to pay to use the videos. Can you do it again? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, what did you say? Uh huh. You said books. And the music CDs are for free. Uh -huh. And you can maybe you can say uh, videos are available in an affordable price. Just one pound per week. Right? Is that affordable? Yes. Right. So you can add more details, dear. Aside from those written on the prop card, so you make it a full sentence, okay? Or maybe just pay one pound per week and you can use the videos, okay? Next, you said you can visit the library from Mondays to Saturdays, 9.30 to 5 a.m. Okay, don't forget from, okay, from. From Monday to Saturday, 9.30 a.m. And then there are 12 of you, what else? Mm -hmm. Is, the library is, you almost forgot your is. It's next to city museum. And you invited the people, that's something good. Come and see. <laughs> okay, so I just want you to remember to make full sentence and to make it a full thought and people will understand what you are saying about this place. Okay, and so we're done. So let's review. We learned how to make questions, not just one, but two. So what should we remember? Remember to find words that are synonym or the same meaning so we can make another question. And uh, you can always see the clues on the prompt card where next to the museum, opening times, here cds okay so it means they offer them free or if you don't find synonym find something opposite opposite of free is paid or you have to pay okay and do you have any questions then about the sin no I can't hear you, dear. No. Okay. So after the class, I will send you your homework. And then I will make some suggested suggestions on your previous homeworks. Okay. That would be all. Thank you so much and have a good night.
Have a good night. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks.